Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Star Channel Plays. I'm your host Rob, aka Star Channel. Continuing now with our San Marino Challenge in FM21, which is to take the tiny micro state of San Marino all the way from the bottom of the FIFA rankings to number one. Simultaneously, we're going to take a club based in San Marino, haha, <laughs> light over here, uh, all the way to Champions League Glory, something we've already done multiple times. And since that part of the um, of the whole challenge is not really uh, a challenge anymore <laughs> or applicable, we're kind of not focusing on that. We're just focusing on the national team. Uh, but the whole club aspect was uh, took over a club based in San Marino called uh, San Marino Calcio, placed in the Italian pyramid. Uh, actually went to function in 2019, but this university tucked them over, pumped a ton of money into them so that we can pimp out the youth intake to see if the challenge is even possible. If you can't do it with what we've got set up, then uh, may not actually even be possible. But uh, so it's not, you know, it's not the regular challenge itself because we did start off in a much more advantageous spot than what you would ever start off with. Uh, but in our 14, 14 seasons now, we are now up to 67th in the world. We've kind of leveled off here, even though I'm sure that we push higher pretty soon. Um, it's a it's a huge rise of like 130 spots since I took over uh, eight seasons ago, I believe. And we're coming off our first major tournament in Euro 2032. And we have actually qualified for our first ever World Cup. And so uh, we haven't shown this yet. This is our group in World Cup 2034, Group C. Of course, since we're uh, European, we won't get a European team in our group. But we did get Egypt and Mexico. Egypt is number 32 in the world pretty solid team actually this is a, a bit of a rough one to be kind of honest a pretty good uh, uh, uh i want to say a very good african team and mexico is a per perennially a top 10 team uh or at least from round 10 so they're at 11 and they have some world-class players here so it's gonna be a tough slog for us to get out of this group uh but we're gonna we're definitely going to give it our, our shot here. We're in the pre-friendly uh, component now of, of the of the year. We've got four friendlies before the World Cup. We got our March ones right now. Then we have a couple lined up before we go to the World Cup. So we're going to have Japan at home, who is going to be very difficult competition. They're at 46 in the world. They got some really good players. We'll see if they brought them here and then we're gonna go to Croatia who is a very good team as well uh, number 14 in the world uh, this could be a tough one for us uh, but this is some good competition before we uh, go to the World Cup uh, we got an easier one a couple of easier ones to uh, before right before the World Cup just to get keep the morale up uh, make sure we got match fitness uh, Trinidad and Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago, who is 79th in the world. Uh, they're probably worse than that. They're not a very good team from CONCACAF. And South Africa, who will be a little bit tougher. They're 12th in the world. What? Oh, those ought to be interesting. I thought they were worse than that. I didn't think they had any good players, but apparently they have good players. All right, so uh, this will be uh, an interesting one. Yep, got a player at Everton. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to go right into that. So that's going to be fun. But let's get into this a little bit. We've brought up a couple players, new players for this because uh, we wanted to try some players before the World Cup starts. Um, so we have called up, well, well in this first up, we have uh, a lot of players that are not quite ready. We had a couple of players coming off in injuries such as Michael Paluigi. Uh, Diana Giardi was coming off an injury as well. Uh, not too long ago uh, so like some of our starters been asked to play only 45 minutes this game but we're gonna rotate in a lot of our backups for this match so we're gonna see some of those young players coming up all right so speaking of players here okay so first up one of the players that we brought up Roberto Canini you can look at this and go this guy is 
not very good he's also 17 why would you bring him how could he be national team level uh but he is actually <laughs> if we compare him to say uh, massimiliano chachi uh is he worse at all i don't know then we have also brought up for this one nicola pelliccioni uh, 19 year old midfielder playing on the C team for the club right now. Um, we're gonna give him a shot to see if he can win a an opportunity for the World Cup. And see, he's developed pretty well actually. Uh, pretty good passer, decent dribbler, got a little bit of pace and acceleration. Uh, so uh, we didn't call up Bellini for this one, so we can give Pelicioni a chance. So we'll see uh, if he becomes an option. Uh, those are the two that we brought up I was tempted by a couple other players but uh, did not pull the trigger on any of them also uh, Kachetti our number one uh, was injured just before or no he came down with a uh, what did he he was injured he was pulled from the squad because of a short-term injury basically just over this break so uh we're gonna be riding Gualandi and Mayani uh and Mayani is the backup the, the third keeper is gonna get the first start here he but he was actually been pretty solid for the club side especially in the Champions League where we needed him because of of the weirdness that's been around uh, the save and the scheduling uh bit here um so uh we're going to give him an opportunity first against Japan, who is the worst team of the two, plus we're playing at home. But yeah, this could be pretty much all backups. Uh, uh, let's, so let's get into this and let's, let's take a look at what we got here. All right. Uh, Fury is not going to be a complete forward. Uh, he doesn't jump well enough for that, so he's going to be actually a false nine. He's going to drop and get into that running a uh, bit because he's... He, he is the prototypical San Marinese forward here with the pace, acceleration, and dribbling. So we want him to drop and then be able to pass and and just run. And then we have Carboni, who is on loan at uh, Cagliari, scoring some goals there. You know, having a pretty solid season. I think he's at, is he at 10 goals now for, for the club in Serie A? So, I mean, pretty good. 21 years old. He's the finisher of the group. Not quite as adept dribbling, but not bad. 14 with the pace and acceleration. Uh, the mentals are finally starting to come around a little bit, so we're excited about that. Uh, he's been good. You see 15 caps, 11 goals. He's been hot recently, so let's see if we can get him firing again here. Uh, then, Dr. Pelicioni, uh, one of our mainstays from our first youth intake, Nicola Goltieri. 28 now, he's one of the veterans, but he's a backup now. Uh, we'll see how he plays here. Oh, we will be... Uh, counting on him as the DLP because guilty would be uh, we're gonna play him as a ball winner. He's not the passer, as you can see. He's out on loan again. He's a former winner kid. Uh, he's at Breccia in Serie A. Very, very athletic though. Uh, so he's a good solid player. Uh, in other situations, he may have been here playing as the uh, box to box. Uh, he's a pretty good player, so we're, we're, we're you know, he's a, we're happy to have him. On the left, we got Gabriele Ugolini, who is the backup uh, left wing back for the club side. You know, our Champions League, three-time Champions League winners. Uh, so this is his first season at the, club, at the uh, top level of the club. Played a bunch. He's been pretty good. Wanted by Chelsea, probably. Yep. Uh, not going to sell him, though. Got great potential. You see, uh, athleticism, great athleticism. Uh, he is trending to be better than uh, Lance Ramos, who is our normal starter. He comes with the jumping reach that Lance Ramos does not have. But this 14 jumping reach is perfect. But well, the problem right now for him is he's still getting the mental side of the game. And uh, the marking 12 is not terrible uh but tackling eight positioning nine not quite there uh so he's still on the up and up here just turned 19 last month so he's got a long way to go but obviously a winner kid at this point uh and he's professional so we're very excited here uh he will definitely take over eventually in probably in a few years 
Uh, we talked about Kanini and we saw Chachi, who's not that great. Uh, Loi is actually probably our best, and you can see out on loan and uh, kind of turning downwards there. Uh, but um, yeah, so you can kind of see that's why uh, <laughs> we have what we have right now. <laughs> And I uh, like that we took that Miami. Uh, this was actually supposed to be the next match already, so I screwed that up. Uh, we'll switch that for the next one, though. All right. Playing down left. Okay, so uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to try to get those going in this match against Japan. We'll see what, who they throw out against us, whether they brought a strong team or not. Not actually sure. So let's take a look here. I think they did, though. Yuya Ito. You can see. Could be going to Wolfsburg. Ooh. You can see this the guy is pretty solid. Pretty solid. Wow, well, first things first. Uh, either footed, okay. That's two foot in this first. Okay, everyone but the this guy, right? And Joe. So this guy is a pretty good striker, good finisher, short. Oh, you know, he's not that short. He just can't jump. Um, no mental side, though. Not bad, though. Uh, do you want to close down anyone? No. Yushi okay. Yushi. Newcastle. Very good passer. Midfield orchestrator. I think that, uh, that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, this is a pretty good player here. Yep, Mark. We want to press. Yeah, probably. Ah, uh, it's friendly. We want to tackle him hard. Ichinose Katsuhiro. 5'10 with three jumping reach? This guy must bend down when he's jumping or something. I mean, that is terrible. That is terrible. Uh, but he's a pretty good passer. He is all offense. There's no tackling whatsoever going on here. This is an interesting player. We're gonna close him down. We're gonna close this guy down. Close down all the midfielders. Uh, Kuniyoshi Masto. Uh, passer. Is he old? 28. He moves like an old man, but he can pass. Interesting, interesting. Uh, let's see, do they have decent wingbacks? Uh, OG Amamaru. Uh, is uh not someone that we would worry too much about. Victor Hugo, who must be probably Argentinian or Brazilian. Oh, he is terrible. And then center backs. Okay, they're starting to look like us because oh man, look at that jump and reach is terrible. Sergio Santos, of course, he came to us. We bought him at 16 and then sold him on to Lazio. Uh he did not turn out like we thought he was going to. I mean, he'll be okay. And you can see he's okay now, but definitely not going to be world class like we were hoping. And Matsuki Kota, 19 year old at El Timo. We're looking at him. We're going to scout him and see if we can bring him to the club, maybe. But he's pretty solid. He looked pretty good at 19. Okay, we'll take a look at that. And their keeper, Diguchi Asanari. Uh, it's got good reflexes, we can say that. He's at Brezia. Okay, he's there, number one. Interesting. Uh, but he is uh, pretty good in the air, so okay, we'll see. So they're like us. It seems like uh, dangerous going forward, but the defense is a little bit suspect. And the keepers are not terrible. Alright, so let's see what we get out of... Out of our players here, uh, the, we'll give the debutants uh, some some encouragement. Oh, we just looked at this up, so we don't need to do that. Got the tactic already set. All right, so let's go out there and see what we got. Can you talk us through your changes today? It's a squad game. Uh, and we want to give the backups a chance to see, and some of our deputants a chance to go out there and uh, give it a chance to give make my life difficult for selection. 
So how useful is Diego Berardi's versatility when it comes to team selection? Well, he's on the right side. Oh yeah, we didn't look at him. He's in for Mikro Luigi because uh, Luigi likes to coming off an injury. He's basically a Luigi light. He's not as athletic, uh, but he's nearly as good uh, in the technical side and just not quite as good in the mental, uh, but it's coming a bit. So I know that he can do what we need him to do. All right, let's do it. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. How can we deal with a pretty full strength uh, Japanese side with our backups? At home, though. We always do play better home. But that throw in was weird. Just basically give it away. Yeah, I'm looking for selection headaches here. I guess I didn't bring up enough guys to really be able to do that. That's good. Played by Pelicioni there. What a ball there. Carponi. Oh, yeah. That's... Got forced wide there. I'm not surprised, but... Uh, Bellini swinging it in. And that was actually not a bad corner. He's not a great corner ticket. He's just only okay. But I like that we are putting them under pressure. Early in the first five minutes. Giving them something to think about here. Good boy, get wide. Carboni. Oh, nice. And he's good to continue scoring. I like it. He, uh, like, I think our forwards are pretty set right now between Carboni, Fiorini, uh, Giardi, and Golanucci. If we were to have an injury going in, that would be where the selection problems would come in. But I'm comfortable with those four. Uh, we have a taller target man typish in uh, Mas uh, Pasolini that we have as an option. And we have some younger players that are coming through that could eventually uh, take a place. They're not quite ready. And also we have uh, Luca Machina, who uh, very short, but plays a pretty mean false nine for us uh, as a, another option. That's a great ball over top to Carboni. Oh, yes. Oh, man. I would expect him to finish that, though. He's our finisher. I would have expected him to round him there. Like the, the place that we're not settled is really at in the defense. Center back um, is, is, of course, our weak point. And we are hoping to bring in, <laughs> hoping someone develops to, to push players out. So can he get in a chance? Uh, but I don't know if any of our younger players will be ready. Our, our left wing back is pretty solid, though, with Ramos and Ugolini. Uh, right back, uh, Aluigi and Berardi have a pretty much locked down. We haven't had another right back uh, pop up yet. That seems to uh, want to challenge them too. And then in the midfield, we're we got a lot of options. So we've been pretty solid with what we have. Uh, Tome has pretty much broken into the first team at this point. He's still been a backup for the club side, but he's really pushed on. Uh, so I'm comfortable with him starting great ball there to Carboni. Ugh. So he's going to be part of the, he's going to get run with the first team in the next match as the box to box. Uh, so we will talk about him then. I'll turn you with the yield card already. Not showing up quite yet. Yeah, we know we're getting out of Bellini. He's a solid player. Uh, that is okay. He's not the greatest. I mean, waiting to be passed at this point, but uh, we haven't really given anyone a shot yet, so that's what we're doing now. But Plachoni, I know we have a couple others, uh, young players coming through as well who might be able to. Carboni is bossing the center backs right now. I guess he's wrote the fullbacks though, but he's just bossing the defense. Ah, uh, getting all kinds of opportunities. 
but we've been lucky with what we've had come through. We've had some pretty solid midfielders. Um, you know, like Rusty was like our first one who uh, took a little while to develop, but has really taken hold of a spot. Um, Giardi, uh, the other, Mattia Giardi, uh, got his move over to the Premiership and uh, he's not been consistent enough, so it's, he doesn't have a full on uh, stranglehold of the attacking central midfield role yet, but he's been the best we've had so far. Um, but I pretty much has made the team. Uh, then Satome is really impressed, is getting better. Uh, so he's going to make the team as well. Of course, Roasty, uh, versatility playing in the deep line playmaker role or as a box to box. Uh, we haven't really had anyone uh, challenge uh, Mattia Berardi for the backup DLP spot, so he's likely to go. Uh, Gulti Airy, great ball. Oh, like I said, the OG here is trying to play himself out of the squad. He's close to having that that role. He's been pretty solid, usually. Uh, and he's got some versatility as well for if we want to make a little formation adjustment. Uh, nice. So yeah, we're, we're on the attack right now. We're definitely in the ascendancy. Like when I see, I'd like us to put another one. I mean, we've had some real good opportunities. There's another one for Loi. Uh, Ukulini is really bossing Japan around right now on the left. I like Carboni is playing very well too. Begin to uh, pull back. Not very good. Okay, that was hopeful. <laughs> I would have liked to see him drive forward a bit. Yeah, we are not giving up anything right now. Defense has been awesome. Uh, that's all good. I think we can play better. Um, guys are not playing well enough yet. So I'm going to give them a little bit of the yelling, yelly yelly. Just to let them know, hey, we have standards here. Berardi as well. 6.5 is not going to do the trick. Um... So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. See, Mateo Berardi, he's just, he, he's, not, he's not great, but he's a decent passer. So he's been very solid for us. So that's why he's kind of got that backup spot uh, as his own there. But yeah, there's not a lot of spots open, but I would like to see anyone come through and push and make it my life difficult because we definitely need we need people at center defense, and our young players are still very young, and they have not quite made it. So, like I said, Canini has a chance. He has a chance to make it. So far, he's not quite uh, won a spot, but you know, we got another another half to go here. Here we go. Go. Oh, Fury. Uh, I would like to see him take a dribble. And a boy, Ugolini. Uh, now we're just giving the ball away. Considering that we've been the ones holding possession. Kind of interesting. Okay. I'm not sure who you're aiming for there because no one in the box is going to be a jumper. That's a good ball. That's not a good shot. And that's not a good shot either. Oh. Alright. Uh, Alright, Louis is taking control here. He's pr actually probably our best defender at this point. Even though Scotty is our longest serving central defender and captain at this point. Uh, it's really 
just a big jumper and solid in the middle, but oh, he's probably our best player and the, our best central defender. Oh, oh, oh Galini, what? I didn't realize I had you take your free kicks. But uh, of the people out there, I don't, I don't think anyone else is going to be doing that. Oof. All right, so but we didn't want them as the, on the counter, but oh, played there. Decent defense there. Good hustle get back. Nice job, Carboni. Nice turn and go and pass. Good. Oh. 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 That almost. Almost worked out. I thought the area's actually playing pretty well. Uh, just good to see. I don't know where that's going, but I mean, it could be worse. Actually went towards one of our guys. Okay. Okay, yeah, I kind of figured that's going to happen at some point. Uh, we'll do it this way. Uh, ease up tackles. All right. Uh, let's... Let's go... I'm looking at fitness here to see if I want to toss someone out there to get a little match fitness. I don't want to bring out Ugolini now because he's playing very well. I don't want to interrupt that. Um, but I think everyone who needs match fitness is out there right now. Except maybe Rarity isn't playing. Man, Giuseppe Tome had like five star potential, but keeps getting adjusted down, which is very disappointing. Because look at this, he's pretty good. Look at this. So this is we saw the guy on Japan with the it was 5'10 with three jumping reach. Well, we got Tome who's 5'4 with 10 jumping reach. So that's the opposite. All right, I guess we're gonna. Uh, no, let's just write it out, I think. Let's write it out. Give these guys a chance to hold on. Yeah, now you got a card, uh, Berardi. What that was? Ugh, kind of blocked off there. Carboni got blocked. Showing out here. This is a this would be a pretty good win against the top 35 team. I mean for a team I mean we're ranked in the top 70, but our backups are not. <laughs> I mean honestly our backups are probably ranked in the top 70. This is this has been this has been pretty dominant showing. I mean, we are at home. We always we play a lot better at home than we do on the road, as you'll see when we play Croatia. But uh, this is still very impressive. I'm very excited to see what we've done so far here today. Good, good block. Now we just gotta finish this out here, manage the game. Nice, Irini. Go ahead. Yep, use the pace and the dribbling. Iron Carboni now. Oh, took too long. Um, you had to beat him at that point. At that point, just beat him. Lini, go ahead. Okay, I thought he might have been offside there. Okay, making a run there. What's the airy? Back on side, Ugolini. Go. Yep. Now. Ugh. Oh. Took too long to hit it, I think. Took too long to hit it, I think. All right, all right, all right. Get it in there. Chachi, oh. Of course, uh, to tip it over the bar there, not bad. Ah, uh, no one there now. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Toss it down. Okay, now we're <laughs> passing the ball a little dangerously there. Let's uh, slow our roll a little bit. All right. All right, what are you gonna do with that? Okay, that is not what I wanted to see. Okay, that's a pretty tame shot. Is that their first shot on the match? No, okay. <laughs> They've had a couple shots and must be all in the second half right now because uh, really getting enough in the first half. All right, cut back. Good, good, good. The initial game plan works. There's no reason to do anything. And they close it out. No subs. That's good. I thought about it. I could have put in a sub or two, but oh, Pelotoni actually came back a little there in the end there. 7.0 there. Canini with 6.8. That's not bad. A lot of good stuff there. Mayani with 7.2. Pretty good. But yeah, Lini was quite good, apparently. Quite good. Oh, uh, we got here. 14 key passes. Jeez. 83% but six tackles. Follows me. Six interceptions, I think, too. Yeah. A dribble. Yeah, that assist. He was really good. He this is he's got potential like that, so uh, that's why he's kind of like that pot down. Look at it. 3.71 XG. Again, we are struggling to put stuff away. That's with our fours. That's a real big surprise because we should be really scoring a lot more than that. But it's good to see that we are 31 shots. My God, against top 35 team. That's pretty impressive, quite frankly. Quite frankly. Okay, that's a good win. I'll give you all some props there. Bam! So there we go. Ah, that's a good, a good start for us as we ramp up to the World Cup. Very excited about that. Very excited. Uh, so just miss display. Yep, San Marino. Ugolini driving San Marino forward. Yep, he's been very good there. And you can see he's played, uh, he's got nine starts with eight sub appearances, a goal and three assists in Serie A. That average rating is pretty good too. So, you yeah, know, he's performing. He's performing. With the area, delighted with the victory, should be. San Marino must take confidence. I agree. We got Croatia next, so we'll see how that goes. But yep, that is going to do it for this episode as we get a nice win over Japan. Nice morale boosting win. Uh, but we got a, a tough one away to Croatia in the next one. So uh, that will be coming up next. So definitely uh, be ready to check that one out when that video drops. So uh, thank you all for hanging out watching. If you enjoy yourself, of course. Like, comment, subscribe, share all the good stuff on any of the videos you watch. Really do appreciate it. Shout out to all the subscribers already here. Uh, much love and appreciation to all of you. There's links in the description of the video to the Twitch and the Twitter if you want to come hang out some more. Uh, of course, we do stream on Twitch at terrible time for most people. But, you know, full-time job and all, I have to do it when I'm free. And that's my free time. So we only stream for like an hour or so. So well, it's on the weekend. Weekends we will stream a little bit longer. So uh, definitely come hang out if you like. But no worries if you can't. Uh, so yeah, that is going to do it here. Thank you all once again for watching and supporting. Hopefully you're doing well out there. Stay well, stay safe, stay good. Stay healthy out there. And I will see all of you all next time.